Hey. Damn! Ugh.
Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I've always wanted to see the town lit up at night like this. It is a sight to see. Never thought a view like this was in my own backyard. You know, it's crazy how we met up out of nowhere. Especially after all this time. Yeah, tell me about it. You know, I would watch you all the time from my hospital room. Wait, watch me doing what? Well, at first, I only heard your voice. You were really loud, so that's what initially got my attention. Give me back my change, or meat you still eating! <laughs> I would hear that kind of thing every day. Yeah, that does sound a lot like me. First, I wasn't sure what to think of you, but I warmed up to you pretty quick. Instead of lying around in bed wondering whether I'd live or die, I had someone else to focus on. Whenever you were in short sleeves, I knew it was summer. Or when you wore a scarf, I knew it was winter. Really? Damn, if I'd known I was being watched, I would have worn cooler stuff. What you wore was perfect. It reflected the true you, Kasuka-san. The man I fell in love with. Huh? You serious? Oh, hold on, hold on. Did I hear you right? You love me? <laughs> I hope that's not a problem. Hey, Kasuka-san? Live long, and stay happy for both of us. Huh? Hey, no loitering, you drunk! Mm. Hey, who were you babbling to just now? Oh, uh, sorry. Didn't mean to make a scene or anything. Wasted, big guy? Maybe you need to walk down to the station. Uh. No, officer. No need for that. I was just about to leave. Yeah? Well, I suggest you get on home. Don't be a nuisance. Okay. <laughs> I 
Maybe we'll meet again when it's my time. それでは、バツ。
got this. Here we go. What's this? This doll's got an orange for a head. Weird. There's a button on it. What happens if I... Oh shit! It talks? Ah, oh, there's one over there. Get another meet you, Kun. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, did he surprise you? Uh, yeah. I guess he kind of got me. This little monster yours? Monster? <laughs> Heavens no. This is the one and only Ono Michio Kun. Oh no, Michio Kun? What the hell's that? Oh no, Michio Kun is a mascot. 
created to represent the proud port city of Onomichi in Hiroshima. I'm Hironaka, the producer for all things Michio-kun. Right. So, uh, this thing represents Onomichi... how exactly? Surely you're joking. Just look at him. A charming face based on the Hasaku, the specialty of the Setouchi region. A steamy Onomichi ramen hat to add a touch of flair. Onomichi ramen is a staple of Onomichi culture, after all. A cute fish pouch to represent the city's wide variety of delicious seafood. <laughs> cool fishing boots to highlight Onomichi's strong fishing industry. And a trendy shirt with his surname, Ono, in bold. <laughs> He really is the perfect mascot, don't you think? Why, just looking at him brings to mind all that Onomichi has to offer. I don't know about that. He's pretty popular as of late, and even this figure here sells out rather quickly. He's the featured product in the Onomichi souvenir section of our new shop here in town. You're selling this in a souvenir shop? Look how detailed he is! Isn't he exquisite? Well, when you put it that way, sure. The ramen's got all its toppings, too. Oh yeah, didn't this thing talk to me earlier? Yes, a voice plays when you press the button. Observe. Oh no, Michio da! Yoroshiku Michi. Oh no! Isn't he great? The way he says Michi sure is cute. <laughs> yeah, sure. I was thinking earlier his voice is actually pretty neat. Yes, well, only the genuine article will speak. The fakes made overseas don't hold a candle to the real ones. Fakes. Uh, yes, uh, like this one. Oh, yeah. Looking at them side by side, they're definitely different. I'm happy he's become so popular. But popularity means there'll always be those looking to make easy money from shoddy imitations. Many of them are obscenely poor quality. Who troubles me to think that these fakes would even attempt to pass as Michio-kun? Hey, this fake's got a button too. Wanna try it out? No, wait, please, don't press that. Man, that just makes me want to press it even more. Never tell me not to press a button. Huh? 
It's not talking. to warn you. Oh no, your hair's all frizzy now. It wasn't before. Anyway, what the hell was that? Well... Fakes have shitty batteries and might blow up. That's right. It's bad enough that they're fake, but it's even worse that they explode. I've been going around collecting them wherever I see them being sold. But when it came to hauling off the fakes, the box turned out to be a little heavier than I thought, and, uh, I sort of tripped. Uh, to make matters worse, the genuine ones got mixed up in there, too. Careless handling of these fakes could result in an explosion. So I'm at a bit of a loss here. So you basically made a minefield. But recently, it's been difficult with my poor eyesight to see the finer details of things, making it even harder to tell the real ones from the fakes. Oh, this is all so troubling. I was just on my way to deliver the genuine ones to the shop, too. Even if I were to ask for help, I would need to find someone with both decent eyesight and a hairstyle that won't look all crazy after an explosion. Uh, me... All right, sure. Really? <laughs> I just realized. I'm Kasuga. All right, Kasuga.